Do you like magic? Fantasy in a modern day setting. Snazzy dusters! And enough emotional trauma that you will be scarred for the rest of your life because something bad happens to one of your favorite characters in almost every single book that you read. Then why have the fantasy series for you? In all seriousness, if you haven't read them, I personally highly recommend the Dresden Files books. It has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that they are my favorite book series of all time. But really, if you have never read the Dresden Files, which if you haven't read the Dresden Files, what the hell are you doing? Go read them right the hell now. I highly, highly, highly recommend these books to you. They are extremely entertaining and just a lot of fun. And I would like to go over in this video several of the points why I personally would recommend this series to you. Now, to start off, I'm just going to give a little bit of background on what the Dresden Files books are. The Dresden Files books are a urban fantasy series set in Chicago following Harry Blackstone Copperfield Dresden, the only practicing professional wizard. Now, Harry pretty much just does what he can to get by. He works as a private investigator. He doesn't have a ton of money to his name, and for the most part, he actually prefers it that way. Harry would rather just do the right thing as often as he could and help as many people as he can rather than be rich and famous and use his power for things like getting money. This is in spite of the fact that he knows he could very, very easily do so, which is one of the things I actually admire most about Harry. He would rather stick it out and go through the long haul rather than just easily make some quick cash. One of the events that actually most well encapsulates this aspect to Harry's character is in the second book, when the local gangster mobster of the series offers him pretty much like 50k a year or something to that effect, with hours that he sets minimum of one day per month that he has to work for. And I think he eventually bumps that to one day a year with the exact same amount of pay. And Harry, instead of taking it up, despite the fact that he at this moment in time could 100% use the money, turns it the hell down which personally I like. Now, enough of reasons why I am very biased towards liking this series. Harry is amazing. Why I think you should read this series overall is every character in this book is awesome, but also my cat's losing her damn mind. But every single book in this series is relevant in some way. For example, events that happen in the first book have ramifications in a, like book six. Events that happen in book five still affect Harry through throughout the 12th book. And yeah, I will admit the Dresden Files is an insane commitment. If you want to read it, it's like 17 books at this point with at least eight more coming out to a total of 25. But they're also so much fun that you honestly lose yourself real quickly when you start reading. When one of my friends got me into them, I was like, dude, this is 15 books. I'm not going to be able to read this. Like, I'm going to get bored real quick. I read about the first chapter of book two and was like, well, shit, I'm going to be finishing this series. That's actually one of the other things about this series is that it can be read completely out of order. I personally wouldn't recommend it because there are events that occur within book three that are mentioned in book four that you're not going to totally understand if you haven't read book three. However, each book does a really good job of explaining who everyone is, especially to the newcomer, with the book Deadbeat actually taking events to the logical extreme because it was the first book that Jim Butcher got in hardback. So Deadbeat actually takes a character who doesn't really know anything about magic and pretty much re-explains all the basics and establishments that we have as readers would at that point have grown to know, which I thought was a really good way of doing it without it feeling like he was just retreading territory that he already had by explaining magic to the audience so that we would understand. I might have messed up a little bit in what I was trying to explain. Sorry, this is just me interjecting. I was editing and what I meant to do was a kind of top five list for this thing. But I rambled on for a little bit and then I thought I had said it, but I clearly didn't. My bad. But yeah, here are the top five reasons why you should do the Jensen Files if you haven't. Uh, reason number five, every character has importance. There is no character that is ever introduced that is a one-off. Even if they're small characters, such as Lieutenant Stallings of the Chicago Police 
department. Even he comes back and plays a bigger role later on down in the books. There is a character named Waldo Butters. He was initially supposed to be a one-off character for the fifth book. However, he comes back in Deadbeat and then remains an integral part of the series from that moment onward. Reason number four, there is an overarching story that starts to occur from about book three onward. Now, every book is in and of itself its own self-contained story. But once we hit the events of book three, an overall story actually starts to truly formulate itself. It grows and extends itself well beyond what you would think a story could do. And it's really, really cool to be able to see it grow to this massive epic thing, and especially since I'm going back and rereading it now uh, for like the fifth time, I'm picking up on things that I never noticed before, especially since I have knowledge of events later on, and I can look back and be like, oh, that leads to this, and I personally like that a lot. Three, the magic system in this book is really, really good. So the way it's explained in the Judgment of Files is magic is effectively its own branch of science, with basically a wizard being someone who's able to harness and control those energies, but magic in this world still reacts the way that something would in in physics. So say I threw a fireball into a crowd of people down a hallway. The fireball would expand to the size of the hallway, but it would rush down the halls to a much farther berth than what I typically would ever be able to do if it was just in an open area, which personally I find really cool, especially because it makes it so that Harry can't really just rely on his magic. He actually has to think his way through obstacles and use strategy and thought to get out of a situation as opposed to just magic deus ex machina his ass out of everywhere. <coughs> Harry Potter. <coughs> Sorry, I do enjoy the Harry Potter books, but you have to admit the kind of deus ex machina a lot of magic with that series. Reason number two, there is no character that in this series that is actually safe from death or harm. Literally any character can die. I know that George R. R. Martin seems to be like the progenitor of no one has plot armor, everyone can die, no one is safe from anything. <laughs> However, I think that Jim Butcher does that better personally. And I think he does that better because the book takes place in a first person view following Harry. So yeah, the main character isn't going to be able to die until potentially the last book, at least you would think. Not to give away spoilers or anything, but something happens to him at one point in the series that makes you go, wait, the fuck? Wait, what? What just happened? Huh? But even then, literally any character can die, and actually many characters do throughout the course of these books, with Harry often blaming himself for these events despite him having no control over any of it. And I think it's fucking amazing. And it's really fun to see like how this affects him over the course of each book, because Harry feels like he's slowly going towards this route of being much more vicious and power hungry, or not, not power hungry, but much more vicious and angry than he ever has at any point in the series, before it, and I'm honestly just really interested to see where the hell this goes. And the number one reason I think you should read The Dresden Files, not only are they an insanely fun series, but Harry is one of the best main characters I have ever read in my entire life. I do realize that this is kind of combining it with the last one, but when I say Harry is one of the best main characters, I mean Harry and the rest of the cast even are amazing characters, but Harry is this person who just wants to do the right thing. That is all he cares about doing and he constantly gets put in these situations where he has to choose between doing the right thing and doing what is best for everyone and now at the end of the day harry will choose to do the right thing over what is the best course of action especially if the best course of action is to murder and like an orphanage harry is going to choose the option that leaves the orphans alive at the end of the day harry's also willing to just go up against a god because he's pissed off harry has threatened mab the uh queen of the unseelie fey he has effectively threatened to time at certain points, Harry fought the Earl King, the leader of the Wild Hunt, because he needed to, to gain control of them. Harry doesn't care about anything. But on top of that, you also have other amazing characters throughout the series. Karen Murphy, the head of special investigations for the Chicago Police Department, is an amazing secondary character, and one of the best female characters I have ever read in any book series. She takes no shit from anyone, and even if someone does question her, she will very 
much put you in your place very, very quickly. You have characters like Michael Carpenter, one of the Knights of the Cross, and one of the most compassionate and caring people on the entire planet. Seriously, he judges you not off what you have done in your past, but of how you comport yourself and who you choose to present yourself as. And he is fucking terrifying if you piss him off. You have Molly Carpenter, Michael's oldest daughter who is Harry's apprentice, and she is amazing. Her story arc is so much fun. Sonya, the Knight of the Cross, who is agnostic and doesn't know if he actually believes if there is a god or not, despite the fact that he gets his orders to defend people from angels. Seriously, the series is full of just amazing characters who just want to do the right thing at the end of the day and will go to the lengths of putting themselves in mortal danger to do it. And honestly, I know a lot of heroes in books do that, but these characters seem to do it in a way that is different from most. None of these characters have plot armor. Every single one of these characters that's put themselves into a situation knows that they could die at any time. Seriously, the fact that these are basically regular mortals running into battle with immortal beings that they know could kill them at any moment without batting an eye makes this series a lot more fun for me to read because all of these characters know that any fight could be their last and it's really really interesting to see a fight where anyone could die at any moment in this series and those are my reasons why i think you should read the judgment files if you haven't i hope you are okay with my rambling ass sitting through this and telling you about this because i don't write things down and just had this in my brain but hey look Dresden Files is amazing. If you haven't read them, go read them. They're so much fun. Trust me, you're going to love them near just as much as I do because at the end of the day, they are just the best books in my personal opinion that I have ever read. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video on why I think you should read The Dresden Files. I hope that you all enjoyed that. And if you have any books that you think I should read, please let me know down in the comments below. I personally love fantasy and I want to try and read a number of more fantasy series in the future. Hey, I hope that you all enjoyed Enjoyed that. If you'd like to follow me on any social media, links to those are going to be in the description down below. And I hope that y'all have a fantastic day. And as always, peace out, guys. Bye.